Hi you guys and welcome to the Power Crafters Wood Burning channel where we talk about everything wood burning from tutorials to equipment to projects. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so you need to transfer your templates to wood canvases and we're gonna talk about how to do that today. As with any art or craft, there are a hundred ways to do things, but we're gonna talk about one in particular. So let's get right to the transfer. Okay guys, so transferring your templates. Um, there, are, Like I said, there's a bunch of ways to do this. The easiest, most accessible, least amount of setup way is uh, just using carbon paper. So I buy carbon paper in bulk on Amazon. You can get the link below. It's pretty inexpensive because it, you can use each sheet over and over and over again. And you know, you make your template and then you just slide the carbon underneath and you know, trace your template onto your canvas. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. And if you want to support my videos and my YouTube channel, I am now on Patreon. So there are several offers there. If you're a wood burner, there's learning how to wood burn, or maybe you're just a fan of wood burn art and you enjoy watching me wood burn, there are offers in there for you too. So there's a little bit of something for everybody. Um, there's a link below, just pop over there and check it out. All right, you guys, let's get right into this. So I've got everything I need here. Oh, actually, I lied. I need scissors and tape. Now, I have everything I need. Sorry if that was nudging the camera a little bit. Okay, so I've got two canvases and I've got two templates. I've got my carbon sheet here. Okay. So I've got these two templates and, and I'm just going to show you how I do this. Um, this one is really little. I've got a video about how to set up templates, which is a completely different thing. I, I'd set all mine up in Photoshop because I can set the canvas to scale. So like this little canvas is four inches by four inches. So I'm able to set that up in Photoshop. And then when it prints out, it prints out the exact size of my canvas. So I know it's going to fit perfectly on the wood the way that I need it to without having to shift a lot of things around. That one's gonna be a ribbon in it. So I'm gonna use this clean one and I'm gonna tape this here. Get my tape. Oh, it's a brand new one. Brand new tape. I love brand new tape or office supplies in general. So I'm gonna flip this over. And I'm just gonna tape tape my template to the wood, put this underneath, and then trace. Uh, and this is really all there is to it. If you're like me, you've got like a, a regular old eight and a half by 11 printer. And if your projects are smaller than that, if all of your wood canvases are smaller than that, then you're golden in the way of template creation. And it takes some time. Um, I know there's a lot of want to change this method because it does take time. Uh, some people have mentioned to me, you know, it takes, it takes longer to transfer it than it does to actually burn it. Uh, and depending on the art, that's absolutely true. Let's give it a little check. Okay, I think I've got everything transferred there. So we're good to go. 
Easy peasy. So that's a very simple setup. I mean, that's, you know, the carbon paper is inexpensive. It's gonna last forever. And it's just slide and go. It's pretty simple, considering um, some of the other options require more setup and more money and that sort of thing. Um, really, the downside to carbon is that it's hard to get off the wood. So, um, you know, if you have things like a sand eraser or a sanding sponge, even a magic eraser will help you get some of those carbon marks off. Okay, so now the larger template to go on this larger piece. Um, so I wanted to show you specifically how to do a larger template. Um, this is one of the reasons why I use Photoshop because Photoshop has a very specific feature that allows you to print these larger temp templates like this. So you can see I've got like, I've got six sheets here that I've printed in sections and I'm going to tape them all together. So what Photoshop does, it lets you print in sections. So when you go to print on your software, and you click print and you get the little pop-up window, right? And then there's like a little preview of your artwork and what is going to print. Most programs, no matter how big your art is or how big your canvas is in the software, it's going to shrink it down to fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet because that's all your printer is capable of printing. So what Photoshop does differently is when you look in that print window, it scales the canvas to the size of your paper instead of shrinking it to the paper. So for example, when you go to the print window, because I set my canvas in Photoshop to be 24 inches by 24 inches, that's how big this canvas is, it's going to print what it sees on that 24 by 24 canvas as it relates to an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So then in that window, you can drag, actually drag the art in sections and print in sections. Um, if that sounds confusing, I, I get it. I understand it sounds confusing. Um, I have a video that explains to you how that works. Um, it's the just how to set up your templates in Word and Photoshop video. Uh, you can click that. I'll put that pop up here somewhere in the video where you can watch that if you wanna get more info. So, Basically, it allows me to print my canvases to scale. So I can print these in sheets, and then I just tape them together. I align them the best that I can, and then I tape them together. And by taping them together, you see I have to kind of put it back together as a puzzle. I think this one was next, yeah. I actually didn't print the entire thing because I don't need that. This outer ring is just gonna be this, so I didn't need that printed. But I do have to cut off the edges. Uh, my printer does not print to the edge. So I have to cut off all this excess. When I first got started with burning, um, if I had a project this large, I would actually take it to the printer, like a, a local, print shop here in town and ask them to print it for me because they could print it all in one sheet and I didn't have to do all this cutting and paper and all this stuff. Um, and it was helpful to a degree, but there were a couple of things. Um, the cost of doing that, you know, is expensive. I want to say it was like, like a template this size might be 20 bucks, which is, is not a terrible price, but when you're doing this over and over and over again, um, it adds up. It's another material cost that you have to add into your projects if you're selling your art and all that kind of stuff. Um, the other thing is waiting on it. So you have to wait for the printer to get it to you. So that's frustrating. If you, you have an order, you want to just get it out and go, or you've got a project you want to work on and you just really want to get after it and you, you can't because you've got to wait on a template. It's worth investing in Photoshop so that you can do this yourself. It does take a little bit of extra time and it does take more copy paper, but overall I feel like it's more efficient 
than going to a printer, waiting on a printer, that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. Sure. We've got it all cut and ready to go. So I'm just going to start taping. You can kind of see where things line up and overlap here. And I just, I just do my best, you guys. I'm, it's not always perfect. Sometimes things aren't always aligned, especially when you have this many sheets. Um, every, every little, you know, God, I don't know measurements. Um, millimeter, is that a thing? Um, every little tiny hairline that it's off is gonna throw other ones off too. But you just do your best and get it as close as you possibly can. And I can see this is like, so I'm just like looking at all these little bits here and how they line up. And I'm looking at the lines here to make sure they line up. slide your carbon underneath and start tracing. So I'm actually gonna try to recreate this whole sort of rustic thing that's going on on the shield here. So I'm gonna trace these lines, these broken edges and all this stuff. And then I just start tracing the shapes here. I'm actually gonna use this piece for another another video for YouTube um, where I show you how to burn with a torch. So if you wanna check that video out too, because this is such a large piece, I need to be able to um, burn some of these, some of these larger bits here faster. So I'm gonna use a torch. And some of these smaller bits, I'm gonna use the pen, like some of these cracks and things like that. And actually, I don't think, yeah. So the carbon didn't go all the way over, so some of the star got cut off. Let me redo that. Okay, and you'll see a kind of, there's a little smudging like right here. There's a little bit of smudging going on. This is a little sand eraser. It's gonna help you take some of those off. I'll put a link below if you wanna check that out. Um, I actually have a course in my, I have an online course package and within the course package, there is a specific course about how to remove carbon marks where I go into a bunch of different ways to do it. So if you wanna check that out, there's a link below. And I think we're good. Here's a smudge. Um, I can, I'm gonna sand that off. I should have done it pre-video, pre but I didn't. I forgot. But it's all good. This is gonna be a really distressed piece. So it's, it's one of those kind of pieces where you, you can't mess it up. It's gonna be fine, because we're gonna try to make it look messy and used in battle on purpose. So, okay, we are done. All done transferring. And that's really it, you guys. It's really pretty simple. Um, you print your template, get your carbon, tape it to the wood, and then trace. And that's really all there is to it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully, hopefully you got some good tips. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you want to support me on any of those places, I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Um, <laughs> on YouTube. You know that I'm in, on YouTube. You're here. Uh, if you want to support me in any of those places, just give it a check. There's some links below. Thanks, you guys.